one of two female mixed martial arts fights that we had this evening, and both of them are absolute crackers. This is Angela Lee, and she's taking on Lena Koretsky. because I know you loved it. Oh yeah, we can see it just setting up the unorthodox, rarely seen twister. First time in one championship and an absolute amazing finish back in Singapore just a month ago. You know, she's been on a sailboat to success, but it could potentially all end tonight for the moment of this because Lena Koreska is a... making his debut, won in the first preliminary fight of this evening. Up against David Meek, there he is. And he had a fairly unorthodox wide stance, but as soon as he connected with a good blow to the head, it was all over. So a very quick finish, I think it was all of 17. Korevska is some fighter in tremendous shape. Looking forward to this one. Seven years the difference between these two. Korevska is the older woman giving away though five centimeters in height. This is the Ukraine against Singapore. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is three rounds of five minutes in the one championship women's straw weight division. And it's brought to you by Under Armour. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She is a mixed martial artist, standing at 158 centimeters tall, winging at 51.8 kilograms, holding a professional MMA record of three wins, one loss. From Jiki Shod, fighting out of Biala Podlaska, Poland, she is PLMMA Adam Way champion, Lena Korevska! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. She is a mixed martial artist, standing at 163 centimeters tall, weighing in at 51.9 kilograms, holding a professional MMA record of three wins, no losses. From Evolve MMA, United MMA, fighting out of Hawaii, she is two-time Pancration world champion, unstoppable Angela Lee! When his battle begins, your referee in charge, Olivier Cost. Oh, it took them a while to decide if they wanted to touch gloves. Lena Koretska, it's worth pointing out, had the only loss on her record came by way of a premature stoppage. I think there was an accidental good, injury good and she lost a technical Ready? decision. Ready? So let's Fight. take that one in our stride. Angela Lee is also three and one. Three and oh in the one championship cage. Oh, good right hand from, from Lena. From the input that I heard from the family, she really wants to showcase a new level of striking. She feels she didn't really get to showcase those skills in her last fight, and she's looking to bang what she's doing right now. Big right hand, though, from Lena. And that'll change everything real quick. Every, the game plan's only as good until you get punched in the face. Three submission wins are impressive. You can understand why she wants to demonstrate some stand-up proficiency, but Lena is a tough cookie. Look at those quads on the Polish girl. She is in great shape. She looked in incredible condition in the weigh-in, and that was a super right hand. Angela Lee took it well. 
She's got a big overhand right, and then she lands on top when Angelina tries to take her down. Scrambling back up to her feet. Angela's got the back. Picks her up. That's a big belly to back suplex. Puts Lena on the floor, and Angela's working for something here. She's kind of gotten a headlock. Lena's going to throw her over into that. Side control. Tremendously well matched these two, aren't they? What a battle this is already turning out to be. We're less than one and a half minutes in. Angela's back into half guard, and she's trying to work. Lena's just applying so much pressure, just flattening her back down onto the mat. Now, this is the biggest struggle Angela Lee's been in her short career so far. Not to say she won't come out of it, but it's a great matchup, this is. Man has got good pressure. You can see those legs of Angela's trying to butterfly hook her and try to get in her over. But Lena's works with some really good wrestling skills. Oh, yeah. She's got an inverted triangle right now. This could be trouble for the Polish girl. She's taking punches to the head as well. This is a dangerous position. There's that kim there's, a, there's a kimura right there, which is a shoulder lock. But Lena transitions into one of her own. Oh, no. You can see this inverted triangle. She's got the head and arm kind of trapped in that choke position. If she applies, she can submit her from this position. There is a choke here, but Lynn is doing the right thing by protecting her side with that arm. And Angela's trying to go after the other arm. This is high level grappling right here, Steve. Oh, look at that leg, the torque. She's getting it, twisting it away. Uh -oh. A possible knee lock coming in. Angela's trying some unorthodox submissions here. Trying to add another weapon to her arsenal to complement that twister that we saw back in Singapore. She's trying all sorts with the leg there. I'm sure Angela knew this was a step up in class, but it's coming into, into play in practice here. We've got a possible heel hook here, Steve. It's all going on. You can see on. she's cranking on that heel right yeah, there. Yeah, she is really twisting and turning it, taking a heel to the face it with puts, the right leg. It puts nasty torque on the knee right here. Lynn is trying to heel kick out of this. She's got to roll, she's got to move, she's got to try to get her leg out of position so it takes it away from danger. This is perhaps the most sophisticated women's mixed martial arts fight we've seen so far in one championship. For Shirley on the ground, this is transitioning from leg locks to, I mean, what? inverted triangles. This is a plethora of submissions being showcased right here by these two women. Angela Lee is taking a beating to the face with that heel. Good punch there from Angela. There's a, another heel hook shown by Lena. Possibly Achilles lock. Oh, brutal downward punch from Angela Lee. And the crowd felt that. The crowd is really getting behind this one. It's just back and forwards. Tremendous action. That was a nice little sweep Lena used to get Angela back on the ground. She transitions into a leg lock of her own. How are Lena's legs standing this pain? They're being twisted and turned into all sorts of unnatural positions. Watch for the tag. She's getting torqued on right there. She's got that, Angela's got that heel hook in deep. The dexterity of Lena's legs is pretty amazing. She's got 30 seconds to survive this. this Angela coming back with a heel to the face of her own there. These two girls, tremendous entertainment. We're in the final 15 seconds. There you go, going right back into that heel hook. They've each kind of got a leg of their own. One's going for an Achilles lock, one's going for a heel hook. They're going back and forth. I don't think we're, we're going to run out of time, and we're going to see a second round, Steve. Well, I'm so delighted about that. <laughs> that was just enthralling. We're going to come to Rich Franklin in a moment, but let's just have a look at some of the tremendous action. There's it all started big with a big right hand. Overhand right by Lena Crot and rocked her. There's that belly to belly suplex, but Lena lands on top. Here's that belly to back. Kind of a belly to side suplex, picks her up and puts her down onto the mat. Beautiful takedown. That's got to be competing for the best five minutes of women's mixed martial arts action that we've seen here's in a one championship cage. There's that attempted inverted triangle, and here's a sweep that puts Angela Lee down, and Lena tries to get back up and initiate that takedown. So let's go to Rich Franklin and see how he has this round scored. 
I'll tell you what, this is a close fight up to this point in time. I actually have Angela Lee ahead on the scorecard. She earned a big take down there. And, it's, and, and this fight's really been about ground control. Both of these girls are scoring on the ground. Lena with, with some of the top side position and a little bit of the, the, the ground and pound that she's doing. But I had to edge it out to Angela Lee because she's just working submission after submission. All right, fighters ready? Fighters ready? Fight! Let's just all agree that we're stoked that a second round is coming up. Tremendous entertainment, and these fans at the Mall of Asia Arena are absolutely loving it. This fight brought to you by Under Armour. Lena's just bobbing back and forth. Looks really comfortable and relaxed on her feet. Angela's pushing forward, and Lena's throwing that big overhand right to try to clip Angela, which she's done successfully twice already. Oh, good straight punch there from Lena. But she jumped into she jumped into trouble. Yeah, she, Angela she slid right into that headlock takedown. She got hip tossed, put down onto the back. So now Angela's kind of working from this side control position. And a little bit of punches of her own. She's trying to trap that arm. She's actually trying to push that arm down in between her legs. That's going to alleviate a lot of defense that Lena's going to be able to do. Tremendous strength from Lena, and that's part of the problem that Angela's facing. She's got very high level wrestling here, but Lena's so strong. Yeah, she popped her head out of that. Now she's taking Angela's back. And this is a different position for, you know, Angela has not encountered this type of adversity in the ground game. You know, so Lena's actually bring it to her on the ground. Kind of a sacrifice fall there where Angela kind of ends up on top, back into side control. Ooh, big wow. knee. Close to the back of the head. She's got to be careful with that. Angela's trying to slide that knee in. Lena's rolling with her, has her death grip on that head, and she's rolling over onto the side. The state of play changes so rapidly with these two. Lena oh, gives a thumbs up, says she's okay. Oh. Let's see if she can transition out of this. Angela's got a deep hooks inside of it. She slides oh, she out. she slides around and does that beautifully well. What a contest this is. Beautifully done. They're just rolling back and forth. <laughs> it all just changes so quickly. Angela's sitting back into side control here. Dropped an elbow into Liz. Right on the jawbone, wasn't it? Or the cheekbone, I should say. Don't underestimate the damage that knees like that to the side of the head and sharp elbows can do, even while these two are concentrating very hard on their grappling. Olivier Cost just having a word with Angela Lee to make sure she doesn't connect with the back of the head. Those are illegal blows. If the fighter turns away and gives you the back of the head, as you're throwing that knee or that punch, then uh, that's not so much illegal. It's the recipient's fault, as it were, but gotta be careful. Angelie's got the back now of Lena. She's trying to flatten her out. This is a bad position for Lena to be in. I think we've seen that she's got the strength to get out of that kind of position, though. She's a very strong girl. Yeah, she's got to start moving and scrambling because right now you can see Angela's just sinking that choke in deep. And she's under the chin. Deep. Underneath the chin it is. And she's tapped out. And you can bet that Lena Korevska will be back in the one championship cage and showing her talents once again because that was some contest and it means a whole heap of a lot for Angela Lee. She's just moved up several steps. Her toughest opponent to date by far and she's come through it. She had a series of submission attempts. She couldn't pull off the armbar. Rich Franklin, just give us your summary of how good this girl is, Angela Lee. Well, I'll tell you, this, this is a perfect example of somebody basically running through our judging criteria. Uh, you could just see that as the fight went on, Lana was just grappling in survival mode, and it was only a matter of time until Angela Lee basically landed uh, a submission.
To present the prize to the winner, we have Under Armour Southeast Asia Chief Marketing Officer, Mr. Adrian Chai. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Olivier Cost calls to hold this battle. Three minutes, 26 seconds of round number two for your winner. By submission, via rear naked choke, unstoppable Angela Lee. Unstoppable to date, no question about it. A fine performance, and I think she'll look back on this as something of a turning point in her career. She took a big step up, and she came through it. She's getting plenty of media attention. There's an awful lot of substance in this woman's game. I am here with your winner, Angela Lee. Angela, that was a tremendous ground battle, consistent back and forth action. How are you feeling? Uh, hey, Manila. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Um, right now, honestly, I feel like a fighter. I feel great. Lena was an awesome opponent. She really tested my heart, and I'm really grateful for this fight. Very impressive performance. Let's take a look up here at the big screen. I want you to talk us through some of this action. Consistent submission attempts, beautiful transitions. Um, yeah, you know, it was a great back and forth fight. She's really tough. I put her in a lot of really tight submissions and she, she managed to tough it out and escape until I finally um, got her neck and finished it with a rear naked choke. That's four very impressive wins for you, Angela. What's next? You know what? I mean, I'm gonna take some break, go back home to my family in Hawaii, and I'm gonna rest up, but I'll see you guys fresh and ready in the new year. Excellent. Manila Angela Lee! At some stage, a world championship strap will be put around the waist of a, a female in one championship, and Angela Lee must be pretty much in line to be an early recipient. I really look forward to 2016.